welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So basically today we'll be dealing with electrical trade theory L2. And today I want to talk about uh, transformers. So we're going to do our chapter 8, which is transformers ETT and two metal program. So basically when you're doing your N1, to those who have done the N1, that's when you start learning the basic of, of, of the transformers. So it's a transformer, <coughs> you must know a transformer here, it has what you call the primary side and it also has what we call the secondary, the secondary side. So when that ring escape of a transformer, it's something like this. This is just a rough sketch of the transformer. So as I said, the transformer it has two sides, it has what we call the primary side, it also has what we call the secondary, the secondary side. So let's say this is the primary side. This is the primary side. This is the secondary, secondary side. So on the primary side of a transformer, you find the primary values, and then on the secondary side of the transformer, you find the secondary values. For example, on the primary side, I'm going to find my I1, which is the primary current. I'm also going to find my N1, which is the primary number of tails. I'm also going to find my V1, which is the primary voltage. So this is what you find on the primary side. So on the primary side, you have I1, N1, and also V1. And then on the second side of the transformer, you find I2, you also find N2, you also find V, you also find V2. So you have two sides whereby you have the primary side, you also have the secondary, the secondary side also. So on the secondary side, you find the secondary values, which I said you find the secondary current, the secondary number of tens, also the secondary, the secondary voltage. And then for in order for you to calculate, let's say the primary voltage or the secondary voltage, you have to use what you call the transformer equation. You say I brought on the board transformer equation. So this is your transformer equation. Your transformer equation it says V1 over V2, whereby this is the primary voltage divided by the, uh, <coughs> the secondary voltage is equals to N1, which is the primary number of tens divided by N. 2 which is the second and number of what number of 10 so you can use this part to calculate either the voltage or the number of 10 it also says is equals to i2 over i i1 <coughs> so this is your transformer equation and then on this side of the voltage it's v1 over v2 and then on n it's n1 over n2 and then when it comes to the current now it's i2 over over i1 all right, okay, so this is what we call the transformer, the transformer equation. So it helps you to calculate either the primary values, which is the voltage, uh, the number of 10, also the current, and then you also have the secondary side whereby you find the secondary, the secondary values. So it helps you to calculate N of this. And you also have what we call uh, the tens ratio. So the formula to calculate the tens ratio is going to be N1 over N, N2. You also have what you call the voltage, the voltage ratio, which is V1 over, over V2. So if you want to calculate the tens ratio, it's going to be the primary number of tens divided by the secondary number of what? Tens. And then if there's the voltage ratio, it's going to be the primary voltage divided by the secondary uh, voltage. You also have, <coughs> if they want the current ratio, It's going to be I2 divided by I. Okay, so let us do an example from uh, the textbook that I have, which is chapter 8, and then it's example uh, 8.1. So it reads as follows A single phase transformer has 600 turns on the primary uh, winding, which are connected to a 220 volts VAC supply. The voltage and current on the secondary side is 16,13 volts and 5 amps, respectively. So I always advise my students to write the given data. That's the most important thing. Let me just write my given data here. What I am given. So they say a single phase. So this transformer is a, it is a single phase. And then the other thing that you should also know, your transformer can either be a single phase 
or it can either be a three, a three phase. So whenever you are answering a certain question, you should understand if your transformer is being a single phase or a three phase. So basically now I'm dealing with the with the single phase and then we we'll also do the three phase one. So the same a single phase transformer is uh, 600 tens on the primary side which is N1, which is 600 tens, and then the same which are connected to a what to 20 AC. AC supply, I'm also given the supply, which is V, V1. Whenever the two numbers, the supply side is the primary side of this. And there's in the voltage and current on the second side. So I'm also given the voltage and the current on the second side, which is N2, which is 16,13. And then I'm also given I2, which is 5, 5 amps. So the same determined on A, the number of tens on the second side so now they want you to calculate the number of tens on the second side so the most thing that you must know guys is to use the transformer equation and you just check with what with what you're given remember you can either use the voltage as the number of tens or the current so in this case i want to calculate n2 so i check with what i've given i can see that i'm given the primary voltage i'm also given the secondary voltage which makes it very, very easy for me i can just say n1 over n2 so if you want over V2 is equals to N1 over N2. V1 over V2 is equals to N1 over N2. And I'm looking for the secondary number of 10, which is N2. I just have to make N2 the second word of the formula, which I cross multiply is going to be V1, N2, V2, N1, and then I divide by V1, I divide by V1. This one will cancel this one and then my N2 is close to what is my V1, my V2, sorry, which is 16,1, 3 multiplied by N1, which is 600, divided by 2, by 220. Let me check with my calculator. So it's 16,13 multiplied by 600, divided by 220. Okay. So it gives me 43,99. It is the number of tens, which means I have to round off to the to the whole number. Whenever you calculate the number of tens, just round off to the whole number, which is same as 44, 44 tens. So it is as simple as this. And then we also they say need need the value of the primary, the primary current. They want you to calculate the primary current. So the most important thing is to know your transformer equation. It also given on the formula. On the formula sheet so now if i want to calculate the primary current i know i can just use the given information which is v1 over v2 is equals to i2 over i1 i cross multiply these this is going to be v1 i1 is equals to v2 i2 and then i divide by v1 divide by v1 this one cancel this one so to get my i1 which is the primary current it's going to be my V2, which is 16,13, multiplied by R2, which is 5, divided by 2, by 220. And then I can get my answer. Let me just quickly punch, which is 16,13. Mm -hmm. So this thing is not difficult at all. It just need you to practice and you can understand it i'm getting 0, 0,367 and remember it's the current which is measuring in what in amps which is measuring amps can i add which part let me just quickly add this part All right, okay, and then they also wanted you to calculate the tens ratio. And remember, they want me to calculate the tens, the tens ratio. And you remember what I said? I said you can either use what n one over n two, or you either use what the voltage ratio, the tens ratio, and the voltage ratio. They must be the, they must be the same. So I can either use the. <coughs> uh, n one over n two. I can either use v one over v two. It's just the same. So I'm just gonna use v one over. So the N1 over, over N2, my N1 is 600, 
divide by my 82 which is 44 and then I get my answer which is 600 divided by 44 it gives me 18,636 okay and this is the ratio so it's going to be as to as to 1 and then lastly they also needed the voltage per chain so this was my C my B they want the voltage per chain and remember I said for you to calculate the voltage per chain you just going to be V1 over V1 over N1 what is my V1 I'm given V1 is 220 divided by 600 I get my answer which is 220 divided by 600 and then I'll get 0, 0,367 volts so basically you just see about this about this example so you just have to know your transformer equation and then to calculate the tens ratio of the voltage ratio the current ratio and then also the voltage voltage per day. and then the formula the, that formula is also it's also given on your formula to the, ten, uh, the transformer equation so you just have to check the formula sheet and then depending on what they've asked you you just calculate whatever they ask you okay so the other thing that you must also know we have different type of what of power we have three different type of what of power so the first one we call it the apparent power or the transformer ah, if they say calculate the transformer rating they refer to the apparent apparent power so the shape of an apparent power is as in how do you calculate it just gonna be the voltage multiplied by the by the current and then to get its measured in what in v in v which is voltage uh, voltage amps and then you also have what we call the true power and most people they know about this about this true power and then true power the same with p so in order for you to calculate the true power is going to be the voltage multiplied by the current multiplied by the by the power factor and you know how to calculate the power factor is what is cos cos theta and then it's measured in what in watts and then we also have what we call the reactive the reactive power it's symbol it's q and then to calculate the reactive power it's going to be v multiplied by i multiplied by sine by sine theta and then this one is measured in v a a r ne? so please you must understand if they are saying calculate the apparent power the, uh, the true power or the reactive power but if your question doesn't specify like which kind of power are they asking about most of the time it will be the, the true power if so if they just say calculate the power you use this formula of a true power to just calculate your power so please sometimes they can say calculate power in one in kv uh kva you know is this or they can say calculate uh, your power in one so you must know these three type of what of powers that you that you have and remember i said on a transformer it can either be a single phase or it can either be a three phase so let's say it is a three phase on a three phase transformer you have this connection a three phase transformer can either be connected in what you call a star or a delta so on a three phase transformer now let's say they said your transformer is a three phase it can either be connected in star or it can either be connected in delta so a rough sketch of a star diagram something like this i'm not good at drawing but i'll just try and then a delta something like a triangle Okay, so if you see something like this one is a star and then that, 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 that triangle is what? It's a delta. So you must know, now when they say it's a three phase and this thing is a star, you have what you call I line, which is the line current, is equal to I phase, which is the phase current. So the phase current, the line current, the only star, it is the same. But when it goes to the voltage V line, it's root 3 or V, or V phase. So let's say they want you to calculate v line now is goes to root 3 of what of v phase but if it is the current is just constant doesn't change it either what a line or a line current or what a phase or a phase a phase current and please note the given uh the given voltage is always 
V line. Eh? The supply is always V, V line, if they don't specify. But if they specify like it's a phase, and then you have to take it as what? As V phase. Same thing with the only on the delta, you should know that VL is goes to V to V phase. So your uh, line voltage is the phase uh, voltage is just the same, but when it comes to the current I line, it's goes to root three uh, I I phase. So on the three phase, you have what you call the phase values, and then you also have what you call the line, the line values. So you must know and please understand if your diagram is being connected in a single phase or on a three phase. And I think with uh, with this, let me check if I don't leave anything that I can need to explain. So basically, that's it about chapter chapter eight. So you should know about the transformer, about the single phase, and also about the three phase transformer. In your three phase, you should understand if it is connected in the star or in a delta. This will help you when you are doing your N three, N four, N five up to N six. This thing is still applies. So you must know when they're talking about a single phase. And you must also know that from our three phase, a three phase transformer. Okay, thank you. I will see you on the next video.